Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen 2, the better one uh, of this beautiful mod. And we are just about to start getting some additional um, loot items. Smash and Grab is the name of the game, which allows us to get uh, some supplies. So let's jump right into the mission. All right, and we landed. Uh, this is uh, going to be more interesting than I uh, anticipated, because we're also fighting against the Losts, uh, which means we're getting a bit more experience uh, than I thought. But it's also going to be way more difficult. The Losts at the beginning, uh, specifically with ballistic weapons, can be quite a pain in the rear. So let's see how this one here is going to play out. Time to motor. Roger that. Solid copy. Okay, uh, we're taking the high ground for now. The main idea is to stay out of uh, range for most of them. And as soon as we are over here, and as soon as we see the first pack, we will give it a go. Problem uh, with uh, starting a fight is as soon as we're either capturing the first crate or starting our first fight timer is going to start as well reinforcements are going to come in and we are generally going to be in a miserable situation so it's always good to get your ducks in a row before that happens and maybe engage the first pick just when you are about to grab the uh, loot anyways Okay, moving Fury down. I don't want uh, you to lose concealment. Moving Fury down here. Onward. Still haven't spotted anyone. That is very interesting. Don't let your rookies just take the shortest path. That would break concealment and we don't want that to happen. Okay, so... We're taking the different balconies and we'll just um, use the high ground. As soon as uh, enemies appear, we're going to start the fight and we'll take as many crates as possible. For now, the crates are considered cover, but rest uh, or be aware as soon as you mark them. They will be transported and are no longer there, so they can't guarantee you cover. Which means in the meantime, as we're standing uh, here, we're simply going to wait for now. And once the actual fight begins, we are going to mark them and uh, move on afterwards. I think that marking, by the way, also um, destroys our concealment. So we got to be extra careful. Will do. No one gets 
by me. Eyes on the prize. I like the idea though of already being ready to mark them. Because out of the 12 uh, crates, we would have two of them right off the bat before we even start uh, moving anywhere. Which is good. I like that. Still no enemy contact. We know it's seven to nine enemies that we're fighting, so probably three packs. At most four. Plus the loss, of course. Oh, yeah, I was waiting for the round to end, but since we're near the crates, it doesn't. My, totally my bad. <laughs> Staring at the screen, waiting for the enemy to turn, but then nothing happens. Good job. Alright, that's the first pack. An engineer and two normal soldiers. Moving up into a position where we can capture even more. I'm not sure if we want to be as greedy as to go all the way up to here. Moving to designated coordinates. Haven't seen anyone yet, so might as well sit here. Well, that would be four crates off the bat bef uh, before anything happens. Guide my hand. Make that five. I am watching. Okay. Good, everyone's in Overwatch. And there's another pack back there. Might want to consider not to trigger them on top of the other pack. Okay, we wouldn't see anyone here. He would uh, see them, however. Well, we gotta get him into position. We can't use him back here. Okay, four, four crates are enough for now. I mean, it's just a starter. We'll get more. But we quite literally start with four crates secured. Don't want to use a flashbang. Let's trigger them and we're essentially starting uh, the encounter. There's the extra focus, by the way, and the promotion. Good, and with that, 
we are off for one, two, three, four crate recoveries. Of course, we, we're one damage short, as always. But we can move over here, still flank him. And there we go, that's two down. I think we might uh, use a flashbang grenade just to make sure that this guy cannot move away. It will attract some of the lost. Lost swarm is very near, it says. And that's now a, a bit the disadvantage of being so hyper aggressive on all of the crates. Yeah, we could get that crate, but unfortunately it would immediately um, be removed. Because once you mark it, they are, uh, they are being removed. There's another one up here, by the way. Okay. Advent forces have now marked their supplies for next round which uh, may or may not give us an indication where we need to go. But now also the losses appear. Which means we gotta fight them off first. I'm okay, uh, we already got a lot of loot out of this here. And boy oh boy, that's a lot of losses. Maybe are forced to fall just a tiny bit back. Firebrand is on deck. That's one, two, three, and four. The one crate in the front here is up for marking, so not sure if we can. Uh, if if we can get it. Hmm. We are certainly being swarmed. And they seem to be moving quite fast as well. So first things first, let's move in here. I don't think that we need more grenades for now. Because that will just trigger multiple loss. However, if we can't kill him, and 26% chance to hit is really not optimal. Then we might need to resort back to yet another grenade. Yeah, we gotta go pretty substantial amount of distance back maybe towards here and just take on the loss for now way too many of them we only got 80% shots Ok, 
Catalina here is doing a pretty nice job. Hitting all of her shots. Yeah, we could be greedy and go for the chest. But I think we would take several hits, plus we could trigger the other pack. Uh, not quite happy how this has turned out. The guy here needs to die. I think one more grenade should be fine. But it's going to trigger more loss. Well, we got some loot. Could go over here. Probably not worth it. We don't have parry yet, so that's not going to work either. If we fall back to here, we can theoretically kill these two, and if if we make that, we could get that. Uh, we can let Fury take the chest here. All right, that's one down. Second one, unfortunately, doesn't die. So, we gotta move back. By the way, why don't we have four crates? I think I marked four at the very beginning. We, we marked four crates at the very beginning. Next up, we gotta put an evic zone here. Yeah, for rookies it is nasty to have that many loss. One of them even reached us. Oh, the Sky Ranger cannot uh, transport more than three crates at a time. Interesting. Good, that's one down. I'm ready. Catalina here, come on, let's kill them. Uh, that's the problem, we're not having enough damage either. And our uh, magazines are not really having the capacity. A lot of grazing shots, which makes it difficult for us to kill them. And sometimes 90% shot, uh, shots are simply missing. Gordon, kill them, there we go, reload, ah, 
I'm not going to waste that. If we're pulling an additional pack, I think we're still going to be fine. Unfortunately, his melee attack does not count as a reset. He only gets momentum and not headshot. Which I think is inconsequent if you're, uh, um, if you're thinking about it. But on the other hand, um, probably it would have trivialized the whole design here. Because Fury could have simply killed every single one of them. Well, that explains where the other pack is. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. Okay, we're still dealing with a loss. Unbelievable. Well, at least we get a lot of kills out of it. Let's reload first and try to hit the zombie here. Yep, that didn't work out very well. Psy Zombie is by far the most dangerous of the enemies, but he's currently not in range, so that's okay. We know there is a pack of enemies over here. I am okay with triggering them. Let's hope that the sector moves and advances because his melee uh, vulnerability might be the key uh, to kill uh, to kill the zombie right away Good well locator is down and our is guess active. what the sector just stayed out of range clever very clever We are using the momentum to get out of line of sight and also to get another chest. Okay, we can't call in the Sky Ranger if we have no actions left uh, open. This here, however, is going to work. Moving into cover. And again, moving into cover and actually even flanking uh, these sector. The Sectoid is probably going to use a Mind Spin. They usually are using that. 
There you go. One of the changes in Long War is that the panic will be removed once we kill the Sectoid. Nice little flank, by the way, upstairs. Moving in, and soon another Lost Swarm will appear. No reason to uh, to call them earlier, though. We flank them right there. With him being dead, we do have enough opportunity to reload an overwatch, wait for the last guy basically to show up. We needed to reload anyways. And we're being out of line of sight, because Fury has taken a bit of damage. So additional supplies have been marked. I'm pretty sure we're going to see another pack of loss very soon. And there is still one more trooper left open. There we go, loss swarm appears. I was hoping the trooper moves first, so he can be overwatched upon. But unfortunately, the loss will now draw the Overwatch. On the other hand, loss are beginning to move up and I take the guy upstairs, like this uh, loss up here. Or not, maybe they are simply moving over. Okay, we don't want to leave our uh, cover. Pretty much can't reach those crates here. Great, but unfortunately out of range. I'm not even sure if we can reach any more crates by now. So instead, let's try to kill the loss. It's fair to reload. Ready to rock. Yeah. The rookies are just not having enough aim. That's a problem. Moving further back, Moving to I want the high ground here.
Hmm. Let's kill this guy. And we're most likely going to take some damage. Just need to move to the very back so that the other rookies with the protection are currently taking uh, taking the hits. Catalina here does a really good job. I think she has a high aim. Well, above average, definitely. She certainly scored a lot of kills. So that's the last pack. I'm not even sure if, like I said, if we can recover a crate now. It seems we got plenty, but the loss prevented us from getting more. I am moving back to high ground. Normally you can easily kill the loss by standing on top of ladders. The problem here is the game incentivizes you to actually move in and get the crates. Elsewise, and in a timely fashion. Elsewise, it's not going to work out, right? Okay. We're moving up here. At least we got the high ground now. It doesn't help us. Let's reload and give it a go. She does a good job, I told you. She might be a good sniper. Yeah, we can just barely hold off uh, the loss, it seems. No point in moving further into the map if, if you can't even kill the loss. Ridiculous. Okay. So this here, he theoretically can kill as many as he wants because his pistol does uh, trigger the headshot and does not have a reload function. But unfortunately, the damage uh, the damage is not really great, and uh, the fall off from distance is pretty substantial. So two kills instead. Let's move back. Good. So we are having one more turn. Well, we are going to bail out. The last crate is somewhere far away. Yep. 
Yeah, in the back alley, 150 blocks away. No, thank you. We're not going to take that. Good, I think that has been it. We got six out of the 12 crates. Considering that there had been losses here, um, I think that's absolutely almost the maximum which you could, could have gotten with a little bit more risk, maybe seven, but that could have also led to an, uh, to an easy kill. And considering that each of these crates is worth, yeah, around four supplies we never want to lose a rookie just based on that little um, that little supplies we are moving out and we're evacuating everyone Unfortunately, Fury got mildly injured. <sighs> that is going to lead to a bit of um, hospital time, but we, we should be fine. It's probably only a few days. I noticed, by the way, that there had been a positioning bug, so it seems the display uh, is not 100% accurate. Well, we killed 30, so that was a good mission to start with. Should have, uh, uh, should have uh, yielded us a lot of experience as well. So look at that, not surprisingly, we got four promotions. Fury! He's finally promoted and let's look at his extra abilities. Face off is good. Quick draw is good as well. Nah. Evasive is very good. Fanfire is <laughs> Fanfire is hilarious. If we give him the right ammunition. <laughs> okay. Alright. Pistols. And plus one mobility, it's also not bad. I like the rest. Very, very solid. Um, probably need to give him a hazmat uh, vest and and uh, something to block uh, psionics. They have reworked him so that Bladestorm and Reaper is already part of his kit, which makes it so much more easy. Well, and we're taking Perry as the first ability. He unfortunately only has standard uh, intelligence. Good. 31 supplies, which is okay, but also alien alloys and delirium plus a hair trigger. Yes, we are low on intel, that is correct. So we know that the next promotion is going to be a sniper because it's the only class that's left open. And having a sniper with a 69 um, with a 69 uh, aim is pretty good. So Catalina did well. She killed a lot of them. Hence, she now became a sniper. As for the other rookies, we're looking at another gunner with pretty average uh, aim. We are looking at another sharpshooter with, again, somewhat average aim. He ends up with 80, uh, 68, and yeah, he's 8 lower. And we got another technician. Interesting. We're, we're going to do the color coding soon. 
Um, there is still an infiltration uh, going and we have more rookies to to introduce. For now, the name of the game is going to be Finding Additional Missions. So since everyone here is on Intel and everyone here is likewise on Intel, we might just scan in this area. Modular weapons are done. Thank you. And the next one is Alien Biotech. We're again trying to go for the laser weapons as soon as possible. Nice. Another 44 supplies from our cleared um, from our cleared area. So let's continue excavating. I'm very happy that we bought the engineer right away. Already, almost already paid for itself. We now need to get up to 150 supplies. Not sure if we can do that, but let's take a short look at the black market. Avenger plotting new port. Can we get 45 supplies? So if we were to sell both of the hair triggers and all of our troopers and the drone wreck, then we would be fine. I think we need... I think we need just a few of uh, the troopers and the drone wreck is actually, we need three of them um a little bit later so i don't want to sell the drone wreck the trooper corpse i'm fine with that so 35 one two one two three um yeah that sounds about right it's exactly 150 supplies Let's rush the Guerrilla Tactics School. That will not only give us rookies, but will also give us officers, because officer training is a thing in a Long War, and it is quite important. Nice extra abilities. Plus, there are two actual GT, uh, GTSs uh, that I would like to uh, use. One for more experience and one for more loot. So we finally have invaded this. I think we are ready to launch the mission. Um, it could be over infiltrated, but since there's only one more day left, I don't think that we're going to get it to 125 which would be the next breaking point and plus since it's already extremely light it's the easiest um, the, the easiest um, baseline activity you can not get less uh, than that so we're fighting for our second engineer and an intel package um, intel package does not only give us intel but it also starts a hidden mission uh, chain in the background that um, is called the Liberation Mission, so that's, that would be the first uh, mission in a chain of five different uh, missions to essentially liberate that area. And we're talking about liberation once that's becoming relevant. For now, it looks as if we have had a very solid start. Um, it's important to keep on the momentum, so we will scan for new activities very, very soon and continue to constantly do missions at the beginning. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and a comment down below. Bye bye.